Good morning, everybody. Bobcat here in the Art Minds Turbo Doge Van. I am at the Maryland Small Arms Range today, so please forgive any banging you hear going on in the background. Um, it is a beautiful and warm for late December. It's 50 degrees outside. And I didn't want to talk to you about firearms as I just I'm waiting for the range to text me that my lane is open. I want to talk to you about motorcycles, motorcycle riding, my other favorite thing to do. Um, you can guess the first. 50 degrees is about my personal threshold for uh, for riding. I don't have what I would call dedicated winter gear. Um, I've got a setup that I wanted to walk you through. For those of you that don't have the budget or the inclination for uh, specific dedicated winter riding gear, um, I don't. I would love to get, you know, heated vest, jacket, gloves, pants, whatever. Um, it's just not in my budget. I would love to get them and review them for you. If you want me to, uh, I could use your help. I could use your support. You know, you can donate to my uh, coffee account, buy me buy me a cup of coffee and help support the channel so I can get more motorcycle crap to test out and give you an honest opinion on. I would love to do that. Believe me. Anyway, my riding gear um, is a combination of pretty easy to get things. Uh, I, you know, I stack up stuff. Um, starting with the very bottom, my boots. I've got leather, uh, my tanker boots. They're just solid leather. <clears throat> They're not dedicated specifically for, or not man manufactured specifically for riding, but they work great for me. Um, but they keep the wind out generally. Um, next, next level up for my pants. I use, um, starting on the inside, I use either some tights or some leggings um, and then if I if none of those are clean um, I might use a thin pair of pajamas uh, pajama pants you know like fleecy pants and then pull jeans up over that and then on the outer shell because you want to stack stack things in layers um, the outer shell I use chaps uh, I think it's called highway leather I'll verify the brand when I get home uh, I think it's called highway leather but these are just some basic leather chaps. I love leather chaps. They've got the abrasion resistance of leather, which is terribly, terribly important, and they make my ass look great. I had no idea, especially in tights. Anyway, anyway. So yeah, leather chaps. Um, with the Honda Valkyrie, the radiator pod actually kind of makes a good fairing, so I keep a lot of wind off of the lower leg and feet. Um, but the, the thigh, the upper thigh and the hips still get plenty of wind. So you do need to wear something for that. Um, also the Valkyrie does have a power port supposedly. Uh, I've never had any experience plugging things into, uh, motorcycle ele electrical systems like auxiliary equipment, GPS, whatever. I'm always terrified of just draining down the battery and making it unable to start or do what I need it to do. Uh, if you have advice on that, I'd love to hear it. But... Next level up, the main main shell core. Um, I use you know t-shirt. Um, then I'll use a thin kind of pair of I don't I don't know if these are called thermals, but it's just a thin long sleeve shirt. Um, it's all I, I wear all cotton as much as possible. Um, over top of that, I'll wear a fleece turtleneck. Uh, I've got a zip up, uh, a bunch of zip up turtlenecks. I don't know the proper name for them, but you know what I'm you know what I'm talking about. Um, but it's the same kind of fleece material as this. And then over top of that, I'll wear a leather jacket. And you'll notice my outer layer is leather whenever possible because that's what keeps the uh, keeps the wind out. Um, you don't want the perforated leather for like racetracks and stuff, as beautiful as that is, but just a solid sheet of leather to help keep the wind out. And then I call this the, the neck space. I use what's called a, I think it's called a balaclava because um, I know it's not baklava because that's a delicious dessert. But it slips over my head, wraps over my face. Um, it does go up over the nose. I tend to keep it down here because anything over my nose, like we know with masks and stuff, makes your glasses fog up. And I ride with glasses in addition to a helmet, um, the helmet visor. But yeah, so I just ride with it down here. And But really the most important spot thing about it is you're creating a barrier between here and here, so I ride with that tucked into that turtleneck, which is under the jacket, so it keeps the wind off of here. Because really, 
this right here, these two, uh, these two jugular veins and arteries, uh, you can lose a whole lot of heat right here. And in the summer, you you can wrap a wet wet rag around here and keep lose a whole lot of heat through evaporation. So you'll see me doing that. Uh, but anyway, so I'll, I'll get a, a cheap bottle of I've got one from Cycle Gear. I've tried scarves. I've tried bandanas tucked under here. Uh, my problem with those is they're loose and floppy things, so they move in the wind, and they invariably either end up untying themselves and whipping off my neck at highway speed and, you know, causing a distraction for the car behind me, which I don't want to do, or they, like, kind of choke me, and I'm not really into that right now. So, balaclava is a nice thing. It just keeps the wind off of you. Um, I'm sure there are other options as well. I'd love to hear your experience with it. And then the usual... Uh, Simpson Bandit modular helmet, or my um, uh, built yellow helmet, which is a little bit better insulated. Um, that's a great winter helmet, but this really right here is going to be what what saves you uh, saves you thermally. And that's really it for gloves. I have I think it's Fox Racing again. I can verify all this at home. Um, unfortunately, those gloves are shorter. What I really want is a pair of gauntlets. Because if you're riding along and you've got the wind hitting your knuckles, it's going to go and just scoop right under your jacket and go right up your sleeve. And that is a problem that, that my gloves do have. What I really want is gauntlets that come over your cuffs, basically, and create a downstream shell so that wind goes over that and stays out of your jacket. Uh, that would be great. I can't afford them right now. Uh, if you would like to help me get a pair of gauntlets that you recommend, leave a tip in the jar. I'd be real grateful. But yeah, I don't go riding in the winter uh, when it's below 50 degrees because the wind chill at highway speeds, and I'm gonna put up the um, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Association wind chill chart uh, is right here. And you can really see what, you know, 40 degrees at 40 miles an hour feels like. And I work outside all day, so I'm, I'm not trying to shiver me timbers any more than I already have to. Um, perfect. <laughs> the range just texted me. But yeah, I'm not trying to shiver me timbers any more than, than I already have to. Um, but uh, yeah. But yeah, that's it. So anyway, I hope you are safe and well fed wherever you are. I wish you mucho, mucho more. It is almost the solstice. So happy solstice to all of you children of the sun. Um, may the darkest night... May you be the point of light in the darkest night. And for, uh, I guess, the rest of the Judeo-Christian world, um, happy Hanukkah. Well, I guess Hanukkah's over now. Um, Merry Christmas and a happy New Year's to you. Uh, I'm probably not going to put up a New Year's video because um, I'm going to be out of town. I'm on vacation. So I love you. I miss you. I can't wait to see you again. Cheers.